Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a local printer on your Windows 11 computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the Start menu or the Search icon. Search for Control Panel. Best result, should come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. Say your view by are large icons, and then select Devices and Printers. Then you want to select the Add a Printer button. Also, make sure your printer is turned on as well, so if you need to connect it to your Wi-Fi settings, you have done that already. So again, make sure it's connected to your Wi-Fi. And then go ahead and run this search. So hopefully I would have been able to locate your printer just by doing that. If you were unsuccessful, you can also select that this printer wasn't listed. Go ahead and select that. Now you can also run a search if your printer is a little bit older. You can also search for it by a name on your network. You can also add it by an IP address or a Bluetooth or network discoverable printer. Or finally, which we're going to do in today's video to just continue on with this theme of a local printer, is we're going to add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. And then I'm going to go select Next. I'm going to use an existing port here. And if you need to change the port, you can. Otherwise, we're just going to keep it at default. And then select Next. Now, you're going to go ahead and locate your printer on this list. If you don't see any here and you have the disk for the printer, you can insert it. Or you can also select Windows Update. Please note also, I should definitely mention this, that if you guys have a printer, most printer manufacturers have, you know, drivers on their website. You can just download and install as part of a full package. So you're welcome to go ahead and download them directly from the manufacturer's site. And they have automated tools to do all that pretty much without any need for you to do anything. So that's something I would definitely take a look at as well. But anyway, back onto the screen here, since we don't see our manufacturer over here on the left, we're going to go select Windows Update. And this will begin updating our list of printers. So just give it a moment here. It will take some time, but trust me, it will give us a decent populated list of applicable printers for our computer. Okay, so you can see there will be manufacturers on the left side here. So select your applicable printer. So let's just say, I mean, again, you can see there's a ton here. They go in alphabetical order. Then you'll select your printer over here on the right. And then you'll select next. Again, you can see there's a little scroll bar you can scroll through here. Again, you have a ton of printers on the left side. So the, you select the manufacturer first. And then you select the printer on the right. And then you select next. And then you can change your printer name if you want. And then select next again. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And then it should say you've successfully added the driver. And you can select finish or print a test page if you want. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do advise you to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.